Hi, this is Richard at Data Edo. Today let's talk about how to make a new connection to an existing data source. This is done in the desktop app. Over here in the left hand corner we have this add container button. Don't confuse that with new or open right above it. Those pertain to connecting to an existing or creating a new repository. So we go to the add container and select new connection. This will open a dialog where we're allowed to see all of the native connectors in Dataedo. If your data source is not shown here, you can always go to generic and use DDL script, interface tables, or ODBC. But for this example, we are going to use a native connector. Right here, we will select SQL Server and check Next. On the next screen, we enter all of the information needed to connect to that source. So we enter the server name, the port, we can change that if we need to. We choose the authentication type. On some authentication types, you will need to enter the user and password. Down here on database, if you have multiple databases on that server, be sure to choose the correct one. And for timeout, 600 seconds is currently the maximum. Down here for automatic lineage, we leave that checked. And the other two choices, we normally leave those unchecked. Click Connect. And this goes and looks at the server, looks at the database to see what its contents are. Here we see that we have functions, procedures, tables, and views at that database. We have the option here to omit some of these from the import. For this choice, we will use all of them and go to Next. On the next screen, we see that there is a default name given here based on the name of the database and the server. We can change that if we want. I'm going to change this to my new SQL Server connection. You can always change this later if you wanted. There's, there's nothing permanent about this. It can be changed over here in the desktop as needed. And I click Import. So the connection goes, it connects to the database, it reads the contents and imports that and imports the automatic lineage as well. We see that the import succeeded, so we click Finish. And right here we see the new connection. And if we open that up, we can see that it does have functions, procedures, views, and tables just as we expected. And that's how you create a connection to a new source.